Good morning, friends. As in the previous video, we have already installed GDK21, Maven, and IntelliJ. Now let's start creating the project in IntelliJ. So for that, you can open a previous project or whatever project that you have in IntelliJ. And from there, you can click on File, New, and then Project. So once you click on this, you will get the name of the project and the location. So for by default, it will be showing in downloads. You can change it by using this for this browse button. We can uh, create a project in any folder as we want. And then we give the name of this as say upgate job 21. You can create a JIT repository, uh, but for this, I will not create anyone. Languages, as we can uh, see that we have got Java, Kotlin, Groovy, etc. We will be using Java for this project. And for the build system, we will be using Maven. And now we can uh, use the JDK version that we are using. So we are JDK 21. So I will choose JDK 21 here. And in the advanced settings, we can give the group ID or and the artifact ID. So the group ID I have chosen as com dot backstreet programmer and artifact uh, artifact ID is the same as the name of the project. So once you click on create, it will create a sample new project. Uh, not not a sample, but like actually the, the the new project in IntelliJ. Once the new project is created, just go to this project. Just click here in the left. Right click, open module settings, or we can also use the shortcut key as F4. So in other ways, it will show me this open module settings. First, go to the project. In the project, check the name and the SDK version is correct. And the language level, this is very important. Language result, you can use uh, SDK default here. After this, let's go to the modules. In the modules, you can choose the language level in the drop down. So you can use say 21 record patterns and all, and then 20 PV features, the PV features which are available in JDK 21. So I've chosen PV features first. Uh, and then we have got the past and dependencies as mentioned, module SDK is SDK 21. Other part libraries, features, artifacts should be like by default. In the SDKs, again, you can choose 21. Once you did do all this, click on OK button. And then we are set up with at least the module settings as well as the, the language level, which was very important part. Now, once all the IntelliJ module settings are done, now we have to create our pom.xml file and get the latest versions of each moment dependency and the plugins. For example, if you want to check what are, what are the plugins which are going to be, uh, we have to use the latest one. So this is the link that, that I have already provided in the description folder that uh, here we can get all the plugin with the latest version. For example, the clean compiler. So we'll in our uh, in our form.xml, we will be building this compiler use, uh, plugin, fail safe as well as fail safe is for integration tests and surefire for our unit tests. So we can get all these latest versions here from this plugin page. Similarly, for getting the latest dependencies, for example, if I'm going to, if I want to say uh, Jupyter, uh, uh, say some of the J unit dependencies, I can get the latest versions there as well. For example, if I just uh, click, go to this dependency and I just check for J unit, so I can see, uh, for example, J unit, I just click on search. So here it will give me all those links. And then this is the one I want. When I click on this, here, I will get the latest version on top of it. So for example, the latest J unit, J, uh, Jupyter API for J unit 5 is 5.10.0. So when I click this, I can get the latest version, which I can copy. So this is how we actually uh, get the latest versions of each Maven dependency and the Maven plugins that we're going to use in our pom.xml. Before we proceed with our uh, configuration of pom.xml, we should uh, learn what are incubator modules, what is preview features, and what is dynamic loaded agent. So for incub incubator, uh, incubator modules, it was introduced in the EP11. What it means is that it's a it's a way that how the the Java developers they are they want to like put a non-final APIs just for just for the uh, I mean uh, preview by the by all the developers to wait for their feedback. And based on that feedback, they will keep on improving the uh, improving that uh, module that module, which is marked as incubator, and which is marked as non-final as yet. And then, based on the feedback and other pro and the tools progress, with they will decide that whether it will be finalized or maybe removed in a future release. So this is about incubator modules. I mean, we can we can go through all details in this JP11, where it's means of putting non-final APIs and non-final tools in the hands of developers and then it would be either removed or finalized in a future release. Similarly, there is another 
preview features. Uh, so preview features is quite similar to the modules, but it is like more uh, finalized. And it's just like a feature which is given, which would be almost confirmed to be released in a future version. So it's a very uh, small difference between uh, preview features and incubator modules. Uh, and we can uh, treat this that uh, just like the, what's the difference between is that very subtle difference that incubation more uh, applies to modules and the preview features is something that is more closely tied in with the language and the libraries. This is said by Stuart Marx and by the writer of the Java, Brian Goetz. He also mentioned the same thing is that preview features are actually really finished, but are waiting for a round of feedback. Whereas the incubator mechanism has more room to iterate over the API several times to get the feedback. So this is about incubator module and preview feature. And as you can see that in our JEP, uh, in all those uh, JTK 21 uh, JEPs, the new features, 15 features that has been introduced, there is only one incubator and there are other preview features. For example, we can see that we have only like vector API JP448 mart as sixth incubator, only one incubator present in uh, Java 21 15 features. And the, for the preview features, we have got string templates, and then we have got foreign function and memory API, third preview, unnamed patterns and variables, another preview, scored values, unnamed classes, and instance main methods. So there are several, uh, and also structured concurrency is also in the preview mode. So there are several preview features which are uh, which we already discussed that almost finalized. It's just like it it has to be like you know, it it would be uh, like uh, finalized in the, in the future release. Uh, but for the incubator, it's like more of like an iterative API, which might be which needs a lot of iterations and a lot of feedbacks before it can be finalized or removed. The third feature to learn is about uh, whether to disallow the dynamic loading of agents, which is present in JP four four five one. So the procedure of loading a Java agent into an already running JVM is called dynamic load. And this is done by using a Java attach API. So after uh, following this, I'm in JP4451, uh, what it means is that in the future release, it might be possible that we it completely disallows the dynamic loading of agents. I mean, there would be no attach API which can actually load a dynamic, uh, a dynamic agent uh, running on a uh, which is uh, which can be like in, induced into a uh, already running JVM. So this is going to be disallowed. But in our case, in our project, when we are built, we will use Mockito. Mockito is one of the uh, dynamic loaded agents. So in order to allow it always in the, in, so there is a flag which is available, which we'll be using in our uh, Surefire plugin and uh, Failsafe plugin. Uh, in that we will enable this dynamic loading of agents will not disallow it so that in the future releases also i mean uh, we can use that flag to enable it explicitly now as we have learned about preview features incubator modules and uh, enable of uh, dynamic loaded agents now it's a time to actually configure our pom.xml so this is my pom.xml which i've already created we have got group id artifact id and version you can choose whatever the default version is and then a properties part here I have marked the source encoding and output encoding both as UTF-8 and our Maven compiler release is smart to Java 21. This is the only configuration that we need. We don't need to have the Maven compiler dot source or target. Just release is good enough. Now let's go to the dependency managements. So for dependency measurements, I'm going to use chainit bomb because this bomb is like business object like module which can actually encapsulate all those uh, dependencies explicitly. And we already checked that for J unit we have got 5.10.0, which is the latest version. Similarly, for Mockito, we had got Mockito Bomb, which is 5.5.0. Similarly, I also using SRG, uh, which is 3.24.2, which is the latest version. After this, I mean, we have got some dependencies which we have put in the scope. For example, uh, we have got uh, our main engine for JUnit tests, params for parameterized test. We have marked the scope as test. Similarly, Mockito code and SRG code. So once we have all these dependencies done, uh, then we have to choose the latest plugins where we will enable all these things uh, that we have discussed just now. So let's go to the Surefire plugin first. So this is again the latest version for Surefire. Surefire plugin is used for running all, all our unit test cases. And here in the configuration, now you can see that I have used enable dynamic agent loading for Mockito and uh, enable preview because uh, if we don't come, if we don't have this enable preview feature, then it will not be able to run our string templates or all those uh, six, seven uh, preview features that we have in JDK 21. And only one incubator is uh, the, the vector API, which we are explicitly adding as here. 
Similarly, it's very much similar for the fail safe, fail safe plugin, which is used for uh, integration tests. And uh, here also we have got the arg, uh, this all this argument for uh, configured as same as uh, Surefire. And also I have explicitly mentioned the goals that it should be integration test and verified. And finally, the most important part is the compiler plugin. Now this is my latest compiler plugin in which I have marked the debug. Uh, I mean, don't want to like have a lot of debug statements. Enable preview as marked as, as again as uh, as true because we want to see the uh, the preview features. And for the compiler arguments, so when we actually compile it into the bytecode, explicitly we have to provide this add modules with JTK uh, incubator vector API. So this is all about the pom.xml. And uh, these are the three things that we have already enabled. So just to confirm this, now we have uh, created our pom.xml. So the first thing is that let's verify that our uh, all the settings are good. So I'll go to Mavan here and in the life cycle, I will click on verify. Just double click this and then it will have this button added, added down, which will uh, just very compile, build and everything and then test our uh, whether all those settings are good or not. So it's running right now. So the verification was good. We can see here that it's able to like build it. And then I have got some test case that there was a warning there. It's fine uh, because of the incubator module that we have added explicitly. After that, we have able to like uh, have the build success. There's some other warnings which I can see, uh, which is actually because of the conflict between uh, Maven resource plugin and and uh, very decent part of this. But anyway, this is this can also be ignored for now and we will uh, keep on cleaning if needed later. Now, because we have test our Maven uh, pom.xml now, let's write a very a small uh, smoke test to confirm that everything is uh, uh, running fine and we are able to test our uh, our basic unit test case here. So I already created a string template class here. In the string template class, I have already created a very small uh, unit test string to test our preview feature for JPEG 430, which is more about string interpolation. So we have got, say, for example, a string here, a Java 21. And now we have imported this string template.str. What it means is that we can use this as a variable inside our string and interpolate it or format it here inside. This is a feature which was already always available in other languages like Python, where we can use a, a string format string. Now, now after in Java 21, which is used as a, as a preview feature, we can also do the same in Java. For example, for this very simple case, what I'm doing is that I'm using the str dot and escape it and then put this variable name, which is a string inside this uh, curly braces. And then so what I expect is that Java 21 is awesome. So now that's uh, to enable this again, uh, we have set the language level as uh, preview features enabled. In. So first of all, I will run it on IntelliJ and then we'll run it on, also on the Bowen uh, terminal. So once I run this, let's wait for it to run. So as, well, as you can see that it just prints a warning again, but it's the test has run successfully. Now let's go to terminal and then let's do, this, do the same thing. I will my terminal and I will just uh, use MVN clean test. Clean will actually clean all those like target uh, the, the compiled classes and the target and then the job that we have created. And the test will also run whatever the test cases that we have. So for the smoke test, we already have our basic uh, string template test that will run. So we can see that it's all good test runs well done and then we have also got our target folder built here which has got the generated test classes so we are able to enable it and run it this is our just for the verification part that all our moment build is set up and we'll go into details in the for the string template part for this JEP in details in the upcoming chapters but this was just a smoke test uh, to confirm all our settings in java and our pom.xml everything is good and now we are ready to go for the next chapters so guys, this was all about chapter one, where we were able to install all those Java 21, Maven, IntelliJ, and do the basic project setup. In the next chapter, we will proceed with Project Loom, which is I think one, one of the most exciting features uh, available in JT21, virtual threads, scored values, and structure conferencing. So see you guys all in the next chapter.